to balance the blade, I use 60 grit to remove a lot of material if it's really far off. And then I follow up with 120 grit to smooth it out. After sanding the heavy side of the prop on the back side of the blade, you can see that it's pretty balanced and you'd think you were done. But we're not. Put it straight up and down and it falls. Notice the direction. Put it straight up and down and it falls. Notice the direction. That tells me this side of the hub is unbalanced. So this side of the hub being the heavy side, we can drop super glue in that notch in there and hit it with some insta set and see where that takes us. Okay, now. Heavy side is dragging down. Flip it over. Heavy side is dragging down. That means the top side here is going to be the light side. I've already added super glue in that channel in there and it wasn't enough. So now what we can do is we can take prep our surface on the top here with some naphtha remove all the oils take the fuzzy side of velcro hook and loop and put right there velcro is attached but as you see it's still not enough That side is just way heavy yet. So, you come over here and you add super glue inside that fuzzy to counterbalance. Right. I've added super glue, but as you see, I've added way too much. I haven't sprayed the super glue yet. So what you can do is blot that with a rag. As you can see, even after I blotted, I still have way too much glue in that piece of Velcro. So what you can do, it's hitting a little deal there. What you can do is now sand this piece of velcro because it's nice and hard from the super glue. After balancing your propeller should stay wherever you put it. That, my friends, is a good balanced propeller.